Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out Dio's new songs, um, Popcorn and Mars. So these are Dio's first songs under his own label, which is cool. Congrats to you, Dio, for your newest venture. Um, can't wait to hear what your sound is like under this label, you know? As you guys know, I love Dio's voice um, from his last comeback. I really like I Do, um, Lost, and Wonder. But his discography is freaking incredible. Oh, also, if you guys are interested, I did react to his uh, cover of Rewrite the Stars that went viral, his cover with Akmu. It was like a minute long, but it had such an impact. His voice there, amazing. I did react to it. It is available on my Patreon because I tried to put it on YouTube, but it didn't work. It got blocked. Um, but I did react to it three times. <laughs> Cried. So if you guys are interested in that, link is down below. All right, we're going to start with Popcorn and then Mars. Let's get to it. That color grading is so K-drama. <laughs> Hello. Da Kyung Soo. He's so handsome. His lips are really nice. Did I ever mention that? Oh! What the fuck? Yo, my uh, internet is just like dying. Love his tone! <laughs> with a freaking roll! <laughs> Yeah, it's much better with a vacuum. He's <laughs> so cute! Oh damn, that was a fast change. Yes! He's so fun! Oh my god, the vocals. The popcorn! Oh my god, where's it coming from? The dryer? What? Hey. I'm like torn between like the vocals and what's happening on. Beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> the concept is like simple. Oh, this is like Big Bang Theory. The concept is simple, but like it's so effective. The way he's singing popcorn, holy shit. So good. <laughs> he's so pretty. Yeah. Wow. wow. You know, this would be great in karaoke. The obsession with popcorn, though. No. Look at the pillows and the. <laughs> oh my god. That's a that's a super fun concept. It's a super fun concept. Dio's personality and then, you know, this song, it's just like it's so fitting, you know what I mean? Kind of like just free just fun and free and simple, but effective and romantic at the same time. It's like such a great different combination. I love the fact that he 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 opened with this one, right? He, this is his first song under the company. I like the vibe. I like 
the vibe and the free the free spiritedness of it because it kind of it's it's usually like with these first songs under a new label we look forward to them because we tend to look for okay what is the type of sound that they really have wanted to do what is the type of concept what is the type of everything that they really wanted to do that they may not have been able to do in their older company right um so with this one what it tells me is that because it's so close to his other albums is that he had such a great um communication and artistic uh say at SM with his own solo stuff that he, I'm but I, what I mean by that is like he had enough say to go with the direction that he wanted to go to because it's quite similar like that bouncy romantic feel it's not a complete, you know, opposite thing where, you know, where you see uh, an artist, they leave their previous company and then you see their new solo stuff and it's completely different because I feel like, you know, maybe for most people, for most artists, it's like when they go to a new independent label that they create their own, it shows more of who they are. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's totally different from the persona that they created in a bigger, in the bigger company, in the previous company. You know what I mean? That has happened before. Um, and so I'm just glad to see that it's it flows across the board. Like he had enough say and SM honored it enough to go with the type of songs that he wanted to do in his first two albums, right? Also, let me know if there's like a storyline continuation from like his previous two albums because he likes the traveling solo thing. He's always like on a bike or something <laughs> traveling. Um, is, is there like a continuation? Um, I love the color grading. I love the storyline. I love the popcorn stuff. I love his voice on it. Um, and I like the fact that there's bouncy light tones in the, in the song, but also some powerful moments where we hear his big voice, you know? So good. Okay. Now we're going to go to Mars. This is the main title track, I believe. See, he's always on a bike. So it's a continuation. Oh my god, the ro the flowers. It's a continuation. Okay, so if that's the case, if it is a continuation of like Rose and, and that kind of era, you know, um, then I also like the fact that um, SM didn't really also hold back on that concept. Like, you know, some, some companies would be kind of like so terrible about it that they'd be like no you can't use this concept because it was our intellectual property or whatever you know we thought of this concept for you or you know that kind of thing so i'm glad that you know whatever happened there it's like dio was able to carry on this concept from his old label to his own company this looks like it's in winnipeg <laughs> where i'm from <laughs> those uh the south like <laughs> four hours ago Dio in a bathtub hey. oh my god his voice on this hey the keyboard He's so goofy, I love it! He's so adorable! Woo! Oh my god, the artistic aspect is so good! His voice is just perfection. Wow. Playlist. What? 
He's like a cute scientist type. <laughs> Is he like... Oh, Mars! That makes sense! He's like into space stuff. Oh my god, the ad-libs. Good morning. Oh, cute! Oh! It's He's like communicating with like an outside entity. <laughs> Go get it! Oh my god, the Alibs! See an alien? But now I fly from Mars. Oh my god. They're gonna keep us hanging, I'm sure. Someone's overlooking him. The bathtub. He's such a great actor, oh my god. Kai! I get it. I get, I get, you know those like longing looks that Kai gives Dio? I get it. I get it! <gasps> Is that, uh, is that like the longitude and stuff? It's like a Morse code thing, or like, yeah, maybe kind of like a countdown or like an like a latitude, longitude situation. I don't know. Communication. There's gonna be like in the follow up in the next album, will we get to see like <laughs> an extraterrestrial <laughs> romance? Um. Oh wow. I really like it when Dio's voice um, falls in that romantic, bouncy, but still strong type of vocal. And I, yeah, that's a hard combination to come by. Um, and when the song highlights it. Uh, last album, um, I was okay with somebody, but I prefer I Do better. The reaction for I Do is on Patreon and also it's live. His stuff last, last comeback. Um, but this time I like both songs. I'm glad I do. Um, I was kind of worried that like I would only like one of the songs, um, like what happened last time, but I like both songs. I think they're similar enough, but yet different and it's cohesive. Um, but more so it just really highlights where I like to hear his voice. Um, and yeah, amazing two songs. All right, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you take that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, I am on Instagram. Link is down below.